Hi everyone, I just wanted to talk about the project window in Maya and saving with increments. Um, I was just using this mesh and a uh, basic scene to do some sort of lighting rendering previews. And I've sort of discovered a little trick actually to making things really, really fast and efficient for myself. Um, so let me just uh, stop this render here and talk about that. So inside of Maya, you can obviously go into File and save, okay. Um, so, in here, I've actually enabled this option called um, increment and save. So, increment and save. What that basically will do is really incredible for me. This is actually uh, a mind-blowing option. Uh, it automatically n saves a numbered version of your file while keeping a master name for the file. So, um, for example, let's create a new scene. So what I recommend doing, whenever you start a new scene um, or if you have a project that you know you need to work on, you should first of all go to uh, Set Project. So in this case, I'm using the default project, but um, you know you can also go to a different folder and, and select a folder. So I'll show you what this folder for me looks like. So this is under Default, and what happens when you go to Set Project, it will create all these subfolders. So if you go to Set, um, you know you can say Create Default Workspace Location, that's fine. And then you also want to go to double check in the project window and make sure that it's located in the spot that you want it in. So within that um, this location under Documents Maya, the current project is called Projects, and the subfolders will be listed here. All right. So Projects, Default, and then you've got all your sub scenes, uh, subfolders. So you go to File, Save. So we'll just actually take a look at the the, the default settings, right? So if you just do a save, uh, which is Control S, it'll save the scene. Um, so right now that should be under my scenes folder so right now I've got a file called EQ um, let me save it as something else let's call this uh, ball for bouncing ball so I'll do a save as okay so I'll go in there there's my wonderful ball <laughs> now if I hit if, if I keep keep hitting control s it'll just save over that file over and over and over again um, there's a second option, Save Scene As, and there's also Increment and Save. If you go to uh, Save Scene As, you can tell it what file type. Uh, by default, Maya saves in binary, but um, for from a lot of people I know who've worked in Maya for years and years, they recommend ASCII file. Uh, the main reason is that the binary file encodes the file, so it strips out all the kind of um, plain language uh, within the file and makes it really difficult to recover if there's any kind of corruption. Whereas if you save as an MA, and you right click and you say maybe open with uh, you don't want to permanently change this but you can open actually this with something like word or wordpad and you actually can read every single line of the file itself so you can actually go in and edit the data manually hack the data or whatever uh, whereas with a binary file you can't do that so one of the things I've kind of picked up is that it's a good idea um, to go in and just set your file type to Maya ASCII by default and just hit save settings so once you go to file save settings right so that's in here switch from binary to ASCII save settings right this will now become your default um, file template so I'll do a save as and again if I do a save as I can save over or I can manually number it manually numbering the file gets really tedious really fast so I'm gonna just uh, do a save as now you can also do an increment and save. So this has its own shortcut. So save is control S and you can see those right next to the label. There's control S, control shift S, which does a save as. So you can save it as another name or another version or a completely different name in a different location if you want or a subfolder somewhere in the scenes file if you want or under assets. Uh, or you can do an increment and save, which automatically um, does a formatting for you. Um, and that's alt control S. So when you hit that, now you need to make a change. So let's say I'll make a change here. So I'll do Alt Control S, which I believe is the yeah Alt Control S. So if we go into the Scenes folder, you'll see it actually automatically starts numbering this. So Ball now has Ball dot zero zero one. If I make another change, Control Shift S, it will automatically do a second number. Now I'm going to delete these two because this third way I found is so much better and so much more useful. I'll explain why in a second. If I go to File. So I'll go to File, Save Scene. So I can actually do an increment and save within the Save Scene option now. So if I go to that Option button and turn on Increment and Save, um, what is great about this is that as soon as I just hit Control S, it creates a subfolder. So again, let me just, you have to make a change for this to record. 
Um, so I'll put this over here. I'll hit Control S. So what happens? Let's delete the other increment and save here. So what happens is you get a subfolder. So you have uh, within your scenes folder, if you've set your project correctly, you'll get an increment save folder, right? So I've, I've done this with the EQ file. So there's actually a backup of this uh, folder for EQ or earthquake. There's the ball. So I get uh, a numbering that happens there. So uh, actually it's taking up the numbering from my other file name. So let me just delete this for a second. I'll come back and I'll do a save as so I get the right naming and numbering. So I'll do a save as ball. So now that's in there. Make a change. Control S. Okay. So let me maybe turn on keyframing. I'll hit S to keyframe this. Go ahead about uh, 20 frames. Hit S, go somewhere in the middle, raise this up, and hit S to set key, and then I'll hit Control S to save the file. So, again, it's automatically saving. If you take a look at my clock, it's 616. So at 616, it's named over that file, and I've got two versions, a couple from 615, and then if I hit Control S again here, um, I should have a third version now at 616. And then when I go to this file, so it actually always updates or backs up your file in the increments folder. So you always have a versioning happening, but then you've also got a master file name. Now the reason having a master file name matters is that you may have a, another scene. So let's just uh, play this wonderful animation back. <laughs> okay, so that, that has some really bad linear animation, right? So it's very choppy. It's just boom, boom, up, down, very mechanical. So I'm going to just hit Control S one more time. So now let's go make a new scene. Uh, I'm going to save as. Let's just call it, uh, sure, I'll call it the set. I'll overwrite this set. That's fine. And then I'll just lay in a ground plane. Okay. Now, in Maya, you can do referencing, right? So what that means is basically it's always going to call upon another file or scene name. So if I go to reference, create reference, I can reference in the ball, right? So now it's pulling in that reference, pulling in that animation. So let me control S the set. And then I'll go back and go to uh, open scene. Let's go back to the, the ball animation. So it makes things so easy. Let's go uh, and let's say we'll go to Windows, um, animation editor, graph editor. And I'll just take the, let's take the vertical key here. And we'll do um, auto tangents. And I guess I'll do. Uh, let's see, let's do auto tangents there. There we go. And then we'll just set this so that it. There. Okay, for some reason I can't get that handle work, but that's okay. We'll free it up. There we go. Okay, so. Now we'll pull this stuff out. All right, so now we get a better, you know, arcing animation, right? Not the world's greatest, but we'll hit Control S. So again, Control S. If I go back to scenes, it just did a new versioning number. Um, so that should be, let's just say, yeah, ball should be updated at six 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 eighteen. It's got a new backup version. I'll go back and open up my other scene for the set. And now that animation is updated there. So you see what I basically have is versioning. Um, and then I have an automatic linkage. If I ever reference something, I don't have to worry about renaming you know, my last version number to the master file name. And usually it's a good idea. If you have a character, call it you know, CHR or CHAR. Uh, uh, underscore whatever the character name is or if it's a set piece right name things very clearly very concisely but uh, increment and saving or, or having versions of your files is so important because it can be so easy for things to get corrupted to get lost to get damaged uh, if you do have a concern about file space or limitation of file space you can go into the options and limit the number of increments so it'll basically start um, numbering over them and you can increase or decrease that number too so you can say you know what? I want to cap it at 50 saves or you know, for me, I just leave it off. I can I can always go through and clear those extra saves out when the project's done. You can also try to compress the saves. Um, I'm not exactly sure what the compression is doing. I'm assuming it's probably zipping certain parts of the file and and not 
it's keeping data but just basically shrinking it down to a smaller size kind of like a zip file would do uh, that would be my best guess but you can always of course go into the options here and, and dig into that a little deeper but for me just uh, simply turning on increment and save is such a huge um, uh, organizational time saver and it makes referencing so much faster and so much easier